So before I do the Retribution Mage Tower Challenge, I'm going to go through my talents. First talent, Final Verdict, just because it's better than all the other options. Zeal, because uh, Zeal attacks to a chain and hops to other targets. And the plan I'm going to go for this, um, unlike, oh, I did it the same in the Assassination one, if you want to check that out that video, is I'm literally just going to stack them up and just zerg them down as quick as possible. So I'll be doing drum and you know pre pot and pull and I'll just literally be zerging down the bosses. You want to take repentance just in case uh, so that the main boss that we're going to be stunning is the middle one and she does the blood of blood of the father. Uh, if she gets that cast off a wipe so I've just got to um, hammer of justice every time she does that. Next is divine hammer obviously because it's swirling around it's going to hit all the targets. Just a car's vengeance just so I can heal up. Obviously um, yeah, so it, it heals for the damage done, so that's going to be 600k, which is going to be really, really good. Divine Intervention, just in case I mess something up, and I just, you know, get that instant. And Crusade, just because, it, you know, I'm going to be having a lot of holy power throughout this fight, so yeah, Crusade's good. And the Legendaries, I'm using the shoulders and just a random one I've got. I mean, it's even a, it's a, it's a prop one. So I'm just using the shoulders, that's about it, and the, my gear is just tank gear, really. So, yeah, you can see the Pantheon. I have fog, but I'm just going to see if I can zerg it, just with this, with one legendary. So yeah, see you in the video. So like I said in my other video, I'm going to be focusing Sigrin and just cleaving all of them. So deal big damage to Sigrin and cleave. Obviously I'm only using one ret legendary, which is the uh, shoulders. So I'm going to try and stack up all the bosses when I use wake, and then just really, you know, big damage to cleave them down, and then just use just the cars. Or just use all divine storms, but if I need the healing, I'll use just the cars. And if I get into shit panic mode, I'm just going to use bubble. So I'm just going to, you know, stack these guys up. After, I'm going to save. I'm just going to use my first wake of ashes now. Use divine. Use wings now as well, just so I can get big damage out. And I'm also going to save drums till after the first blood of the father. So I know that's when... Once she's done one, you know that that's when, you know, the longest time before she does another. So just focus Sigrin. You know she's the one we got to look out for, watch out for. So just always save your stun for them. Because she's, you know what, you've got to stun that or you're just going to wipe. So wait for the first blood of the father. Runes should appear on the ground soon. Yep, runes. Usually she does it when she stands still. That's like another thing. When she starts standing still, she you know she'll do it soon. Sometimes that doesn't happen though, so you just have to make sure you stick it on her. Like now she's standing still. Gonna use wake my wake of ashes here. Blood of the father, so stun her. And make sure you're soaking the runes obviously all the time. So now I'm gonna use drums and stack these guys up and deal really big damage to them. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use it. And I've just got to make sure I'm cleaving them all down. Use zeal. Just going to use my um, blood elf racial just to get her back some uh, holy power. Use my wake. Put down really big damage on all of them. Okay, rune seer. So I want to focus. I just. Because you're a uh, rep paladin and you're doing loads of cleave, you don't really ever want to focus the guy with the shield because you're divine storms. We'll just uh, do it for you. Obviously, now you can kick it. So I'll kick it. So I'm going to run to where the space is. The bosses will follow you, so there's no reason not to go where the space is. It just helps you. So Sigrun staying still, so I know she might do it soon. So Blade Storm, I want to run away from that. Blood of the Father, so I'm just going to stun her. And just keep away. Run into this orb. And now because they're all stacked after this, I'm going to focus them. So Blade Storm's down. Going to use Wings and now really big DPS. Rune Spawn, i got to go for them. Make sure they don't get a cast off. Okay, so Valkyries, look where the gap is. Gap's in the very middle. Can just stay here and focus. Runes again. Get the runes. So Wake of Ashes now is ready. So I'm going to try and stack the bosses on top of each other to get the most out of my uh, shoulders. Stack them up. Use... And there we go, really big damage on them. So Ancestral Knowledge, so that's where we just cleave. 
because we know that um, we know that our divine storms are just gonna you know kill her or kill the shield. Sorry. So we're gonna interrupt now. Gonna run to the shield in the mid, just so I get healed up. Just go to the shield in the middle. Not the uh, orb, sorry. So I'm just gonna go for the gap. There's the gap. And now one of the guys has died, so this is where it becomes pretty easy. And just gonna soak these runes, and at 20%, that's when it ends. So there you go. That's it for the Ret Pala, Ret um, Retribution Paladin. Really, really easy one. Literally just did this one shot now. And that's about it. So, yeah. Uh, make sure you check out the other guides I've done for the Mage Tower. I've done Assassination, uh, Frost DK, and Rest Dude recently. But I've also got some Hunter ones further down the channel. So, yeah. Make sure you check out them. And see you in the next video.